Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. So the audio did not come out very well, so I'm gonna do a voiceover for this, and we are gonna do a bar workout. So you're gonna need a chair or something to help you balance. You're gonna need a Pilates ball or a little bender ball, a light set of weights, and I forgot to already put it out, but you're also gonna need a hip circle booty band or resistance band. All right, so let's get excited to get this going and let's warm up. So I want you to start with your posture, shoulders back, abs in, tuck that tailbone under as you lift your knees up. So I want you to think about starting the movement from your deep transverse abdominals. So it's not just throwing the leg up, but the abs and the core muscles, especially those deep core muscles, are part of the movement. And now alternate, one arm coming up with the opposite leg. Good job. Stand up tall, tall, tall. Think about energy going out the crown of your head all the way up to the ceiling. Think about standing so tall that you're creating space between your ribs. And now both arms with the knee. Awesome. So you're feeling strong, you're feeling motivated. We are gonna have an amazing workout. We're gonna do a few more just like this. And then we're going to do a little step and reach. There we go. Extend your arm up, lean over to one side. Feel that nice lengthening and stretching from your armpit all the way down to your hip. Beautiful. How long can you make your arm as you reach it over? In just a bit. There we go. We're taking it across our body. So just right there at shoulder level, reach across. There you go. My mat's giving me some problems. I'm going to step off the mat. You keep going. So you're still switching your arms across your body. There you go. And we're going to go overhead and across your body. Reach high and across. Nice. Keep that going. Beautiful. You should be feeling your heart rate coming up some. You should be getting warmer. Those are both signs that you're getting ready for an awesome workout. All right, let's get those hamstrings. Kick your heels back. And then you're sliding your shoulder blades down your spine. So you're really squeezing through your back muscles as your elbows come down. You want to remember to always have distance between your ears and your shoulders. Keep that chest out and proud. Beautiful. Just a few more. Just two more. And one. All right, so you're pedaling your feet. Your elbows are going to come in, and you're going to give me some bicep curls, all right? Double check with that posture. Chest up, shoulders back energy through the top of your head, and then you want to keep that tailbone tucked under. You don't want to arch or hyperextend your back. Just keep that tailbone tucked under and give me those bicep curls. Beautiful. So you're standing up tall, and then you're warming up through the calves here as you are pedaling your feet. And let's switch to some kickbacks. So draw your elbows back and in, and then push your hands behind you, squeezing through your triceps. That's the back of your arm. Squeezing through the triceps there. Keep it up. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna give me a Pilates stance. Heels are gonna come together, toes turned out slightly, squeeze your thighs together. And then you're just gonna give me little demi plies. Keeping your chest up, shoulders back as you bend through the knees. So the knees are going out like straight out between the big toe and the second toe. So they're staying in line with your toes there. And then alternate, making a big circle with one arm and then the other. Working on that shoulder joint, getting it nice and warm too. Beautiful. Every time you return to standing, really squeeze those inner thighs together. Activate those inner thigh muscles. 
So we are going to go into a releve. So you might wanna have your chair there for balance. Dig your heels together and then give me those plies in releve. Releve just means your heels are up. Good job. You're gonna feel the quads really start to warm up here. When you do these plies with your heels up, it really challenges the quads. So we're gonna pulse for just a little bit more and then we're gonna get ready to get right into the bulk of our workout. Make sure that you're keeping your shoulders over your hips. You don't want to be leaning forward. Stand up nice and tall, have a nice long torso. All righty. We're gonna get right into it. So we are gonna start facing the chair. But first I have to go and get my resistance band because I forgot to bring my booty band out with me. So this is an awesome time for you to drink water if you wanna drink water. We don't need the resistance band yet, but it's good to have it handy. So we have everything ready to go. All right, so you're gonna be facing the chair and you're gonna have a parallel stance, which means your toes are facing forward. You're gonna have the ball between your knees and you're already squeezing it. Try to make dents into the side of it, activating those adductor muscles, those muscles that draw your knees together, your legs together. Arms come up right next to your ears and just give me some chair squats. So you're sitting your hips back. At the top, you're pushing through, all the way through to the glutes and really squeezing your inner thighs, making strong dents into the side of your Pilates ball there. Beautiful, keep your arms long and next to your ears. Beautiful, shoulders back, abs in, come onto your toes, and we're gonna go down and up. Same thing, but now in releve. So again, you're gonna feel those quads really start to fire up here. We're gonna do 10 of these, and then we're going to switch it just slightly. All right, so at the bottom, squeeze, squeeze, and then come up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and all the way up. Squat, squeeze, squeeze, all the way up. So you're squeezing that ball at the bottom two quick times. And up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Beautiful. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Give me four more. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Nice work, just a couple more. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. You're gonna go back down and we're just gonna squeeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna return to the beginning. Give me those chair squats, squeezing the ball at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, come into releve, keep that going. Just 10 of these. Beautiful, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna add the squeeze, squeeze at the bottom. It's gonna go quicker, okay? Down, squeeze, squeeze, up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and 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 up. Keep going just at that pace, just a few more. Beautiful, down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, and up. Almost there. Beautiful. Get ready. We're gonna stay down and just squeeze the ball. Squeeze. There you go. Almost there. My legs are shaking like crazy. I know yours are too. Beautiful, you made it. So we're gonna switch up. We're gonna go to our next little exercise set. And we are going to be facing the chair still and we're gonna do some rear kickbacks. When we get set up, I want you to have long arms and the back of your pinkies are gonna be resting on the back of your chair or countertop. And that's because I don't want you gripping it and really using that to stabilize. I want you to really stabilize using your core muscles. Shoulders back, torso long, pull the belly button in, tailbone under, extend one leg back nice and long while keeping your hips square to the front. We're not twisting the torso or through the hips. And you're gonna lift and lower. You're gonna give me 10 of these. You have eight more. 
seven, six, five, four, you don't need to hyperextend through your back, two, one. Really flex the foot here at the top. All right, just right there and give me little kicks. Nice. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen, point your toe, give me circles. We're gonna do 10 each direction. So this movement is coming from the hips. Keep that leg nice and long out at hip level, going the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna cross and lift, cross and lift. There you go. Eight, seven, six, five. You got it, keep going. Four, three, I think I miscounted. There's two <laughs> and one. Beautiful, flex the foot. Just up and down, we're gonna repeat that sequence. Give me 10 of these. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point the toes. Oh, we're not pointing yet. We're pushing it out. I forgot about those. Little tiny kicks. Do you notice my standing leg? It's slightly bent. You don't wanna have a totally straight standing leg. Here are those circles. You've pointed your toe, 10 per direction. I know it's burning. I felt it too. Just keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross and lift. You got it. Give me six, five, four. Almost there, almost there. Three strong all the way. Last couple reps, two. And one, awesome, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side, you know we have to. So double check your posture, shoulders back, abs in. The back of your pinkies are gonna be resting on the chair. Keep your torso really long here, set your hips back. Again, I don't want you grabbing it and using it totally to balance. I want you using your core muscles and your own concentration to keep you balanced. Shoulders back, torso long, extend the leg. You're gonna give me 10. Get ready. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. The knee should be pointing down. Hips are square to the front. There you go. Three, two, one. Flex the foot, tiny kicks. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Point the toe, circle it around. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other direction, go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross and lift, cross and lift. There you go, the booty should be on fire and you're probably feeling it just as much, if not more, on the standing leg as the leg that's moving, right? Keep it up, we want that booty burning. We wanna challenge it so that it can grow. There you go. So it can get sculpted and strong. Come on. Now, how are your abs? Are you still pulling your belly button in? Is your torso long? Are your ears away from your shoulders? I want you to have good posture here. I know your legs are feeling tired, those glutes are feeling exhausted. Keep working, keep them strong. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Long leg, point your toes and circle it. There you go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we did a couple extra here, and there you go, up and down, crossing it over, lifting it up. You're almost done, stay strong, you got this. Come on, last couple of reps here, then you get a little rest. Shake it out, good job. Just a little stretch here, bend forward. 
Maybe you want to do a little cat stretch there around through your back. There was any tension that got built up in the lower back as you were bending forward. <sighs> Just keep breathing. Going forward. We are moving on to the next set. So we're going to be doing some split squats. So one leg is going to be in front of the other, and we're going to mess with different tempos and ranges of motion here. We're really going to get a great burn. So set your feet parallel, and your feet are about hip width apart, and they stay that width as you take a nice big step back. Hips are facing forward, and again, you have distance between your legs. It's not one foot in front or behind the other and you're just gonna go straight down and up. Give me a nice full range of motion. Maybe your knee gently touches the floor or it just comes within like a half an inch of the floor. We're just doing 10 of these. Beautiful. Down and up. You got this. Ready? Go up an inch and down. Up an inch and down. I call these inchers because it's basically you're just moving one inch. Down and up an inch. Down and up an inch. There you go. And pulse it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drive all that weight over that front knee and just tap the other toes in and out. I know it burns, it's supposed to, you're almost there, almost there, beautiful. Give me those pulses again. Six, five, four, three, two, inchers. Down an inch and up, down an inch and up. There you go. You're staying low the whole time, shoulders are back. There you go. We're gonna do full range of motion here. Okay, ready? Here we go. Full range of motion with those split squats. Be careful, don't bang the knee at the bottom, but get low, challenge yourself. That front knee is staying behind the toes. And we're gonna finish with those toe taps. There you go, just 10 of them. I know it burns, hang in there. You're almost done with this leg. Almost there. Nice work. Shake it out. Get ready for the other side. That burned like crazy, right? But you made it. You did it. <sighs> sip your water if you need to. Take a quick sip and let's get ready for the other side. Stand up tall, shoulders back, chest open, feet are parallel, and it's like you're standing on that railroad track. Take one step back, a big step back. And stay nice and focused and balanced. Shoulders back. Shoulders are basically staying right in line with your hips and make sure you have that tailbone tucked under. Engage those glutes. Don't let the quads do all the work. Squeezing through the glutes all the way to the top. There you go. Give me two more. Nine, 10. Okay, stay down, just up an inch and down. Staying low with those inchers. Up an inch and down. Up an inch and down. There you go. Nice. Almost there. Let's pulse it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap that foot in and out. Shifting your weight slightly in front of you. Really focusing on that front quad. It's burning, it's working, there you go. 10 pulses here. Three, two, one. Inchers, down an inch and up. 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 You got it, just a few more. Three, two, one. Full range of motion, just 10 of them. Ah, balance. <laughs> there you go. You're doing fabulous. We're almost done, completely done with this set here. 
finish strong. Give me a nice range of motion, go as low as you can, and tap that foot in and out. 10 quick one of these, and then you're gonna be able to shake it out some. We're gonna stretch it some. There you go. So grab your foot, draw your heel towards your rear end, keep the knees next to each other, and just push your hips forward to lengthen through the quads there. Relieve some of the tension that you built up. Okay, so we're moving on to the next set. And we are gonna be facing forward. Your chair's gonna be to this side this time. And we're gonna start with some grand plies. And again, we're gonna be messing with range of motion and, and um, tempo here some. Stand nice and wide, feet wider than hip width apart, toes turned out, shoulders back, chest up, abs in, tailbone tucked under. And we're gonna start this. Go down and up. Here we go. Chest stays up. Beautiful, again, knees are going out in line with the big toe and the second toe. Two, one. So, same range of motion, just pop the heel. So, your right heel is popped, same thing. Keep that belly button and stay really strong through the abs. Switch sides. Other foot has the heel up. Nice work. Three, two, one. And we are doing little pulsing ones and we're alternating which heel comes up each time. Are you feeling a little bit of a burn there in those quads again? Yes, that's what we want. Keep it going. Don't forget about those glutes. Keep them engaged. Last two. Last one each side. Beautiful balance. Bring both of your heels up. Nice work, so you're in releve. And as you lower the hips, think about keeping your torso long, okay? Keep those shoulders back. Keep that chest open. Think of really good posture throughout the entire workout today. Here's our inchers. Oh my goodness, my legs are shaking. I hope yours are too. That means we're challenging them. Work through it. Embrace the burn, y'all. Almost there. Pulse it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Oh, do you see it shaking? Yes! Embrace it, I said, embrace it. That means you're working it so good. That means you're making them stronger. All right, so we are gonna move on to the next set, everybody. And we are gonna be doing some fire hydrants. These are great for your hips and the outside of your glutes. That standing knee is soft, keep your chest open, you don't want to round forward. Pin your shoulder blades together behind you and keep that chest open. Here we go, here we go. Full range of motion with these fire hydrants. Open and close. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just down an inch and up, down an inch and up, down an inch and up. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. Extend and bend. Work quads and hamstrings, quads, hamstrings. And of course, those glutes are working and the hip muscles are working to keep that leg out there at 
hip level. Try to make your leg parallel to the ground. Do the best you can. And here we go. We're gonna do some straight limb clamshells. So working the hips and then getting the obliques a little bit more into it as you bring a little side crunch as you lift the leg and the arm together. There you go. Bend and extend again. Eight, seven, six, five. Abs in, shoulders back. Three, two, and one. Up, 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 pulsing it. There you go. Four, three, two. Give me inches, down an inch and up, down an inch and up, down an inch and up. Maintaining tension on those hips and the rear end. Come on, you're almost there. You got this. Three, two, one. Full range of motion, down and up, down and up. There you go. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Yes, awesome work. Take that leg behind you, push your hips out, reach that arm over. So you're feeling a great stretch through the hips there that just works so hard. Okay, gotta get set up for the other side. Get your mind right, you're gonna rock it. It's challenging, but you can do it. All right. Let's go. Rest your forearm on the back of the chair there. Standing leg is bent. Open up your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really strong through your core, through your rear end. Let's go. Full range of motion up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up there, down an inch and up, down an inch and up. Just going like halfway down. It's a smaller range of motion, really maintaining tension and building heat in that hip joint in the rear end there. Ready, last one. 10, nine, you're pulsing it out. Come on, stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend and bend, extend and bend. You got it. Give me six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and make it nice and long. Here we go. Give me those clamshells. Beautiful. Squeezing through the obliques too. Four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Stand and bend. Nine, eight, keep your chest open. Seven, six, five, four, three, abs in. Chest open, two, one. Beautiful, pulse it up. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inches down an inch and up. Down an inch and up. Yes. You got it. I know it burns, but you're doing it. Stay strong. Come on. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ready? Full range of motion. All the way down and up. I'm so proud of you. This is a challenging set and you're almost all done with it. Come on, make it work all the way to the end. Stay really strong. Awesome work. Take that leg behind you, cross it behind you. Lean over, push that hip out. Extend that arm overhead. Doesn't that feel so good? Okay. We are going to go on to the next set. And this is the set with our booty band. 
and this is the last working set that we're going to be standing here doing legs. So let's get ready. You're going to put your hip circle on just above or below your knees. And we're going to get ready to do some plies and some butterflies, really using the resistance band to increase the intensity as we work on the outside of our glutes to open up our knees, working against the resistance band. All right, so you have the band on, and you're going to give me that Pilates stance, heels together, toes turned out. You're going to stand really tall, come into releve, dig your heels together, and you're just going to give me little pulses. There you go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Open up, open up. There you go. Give me those butterflies. Yes. Three, two, one. And then you're gonna sway your hips side to side. Keep the knees open wide. Yes, this is a fun one. I love the little hip sways. You're giving me a little mini plie as your booty swoops down in the middle and then comes back up to the side. And up, we're gonna go down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Keep those knees wide. Down, two, up, two. Keep it going, have fun with it. There you go. Down, two, up, two. All right, back to pulsing. Pulse it down. You can do it. Almost there. Open. Butterflies here. Butterflies. Three, two, one. Sway your hips side to side. Come on. Really dig your heels in together. Knees go wide. We're going down for two and up for two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Yes, good job. I don't know about you, but my booty was on fire there. You can go ahead and take the band off. We're not gonna use it anymore. Oh, just kidding, I was wrong. I forgot about these. We are gonna do some lateral squat walking. So you're in that squat position and you're gonna take side steps and you're not coming all the way together because you wanna maintain tension on the band there. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so just relax into it. Don't think about anything, but just keep going. There you go. Hips stay back, chest stays up. Keep those knees wide. Almost there. Well, kind of. Just keep working, okay? <laughs> we want to burn out the glutes here. And because we're in a squat position, our quads are still working some. It's a great lower body exercise. Emphasizing the glutes. Get nice round glutes here. Keep your abs in, keep low. I'm so proud of you. Hang in there, this is a long set and you can do it. We're getting close to being done here. Come on. So we're going one more length each direction. You're almost there, stay strong. Ready? Other direction, go. Sit those hips back. Work it, work it, you're almost there. Almost there, last couple steps. Nice work. Fabulous, okay, so now you can take it off. And we're gonna get ready to do some upper body and arms. And we're gonna use the chair and our light set of weights. <laughs> Shaking it all out. We're going to turn the chair around because we're actually going to use it for chair dips in just a bit. Oh, but first we're going to stretch. Give me that figure four stretch. You're keeping your foot flex. Just sit back into it. This should feel good in your hips and your back and your foot. Same thing other side. Awesome. 
Okay, so getting ready for arms. Turn your chair around. And we're gonna start with some biceps. Now these weights aren't heavy, so we're doing a lot of reps, but even then it's gonna feel easy. But I want you to squeeze your arms more than you actually need to, to move the weight, right? The weights are light, you don't need much force, but I want you to pretend like you're holding 50 pounds in each hand and you're really squeezing, really contracting, especially at the top of the motion there. Four, three, two, give me 10 more, come on. And you're pedaling your feet with it this set. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your arms out to a T, and then still maintain distance between your shoulders and your ears. And you're working the shoulders because they're holding your arms up, and then still giving me those curls to get those biceps working. Two. Give me ten more. Go ahead and pedal your feet. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So we're going to get the triceps next. Stand up tall. Knees are soft. Hinge forward. Elbows back and in. And give me some tricep kickbacks. Really push through the back of your arm. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Belly button in. Three. Two. One. Give me ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight, faster, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready? You're pushing your palms up at the end now. So that's called supination. So you give me a triceps kickback with the supination at the top there, rotating your palms up towards the sky at the end. There you go. Two, one, ten more, go, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, so here are those chair dips that I promised you. Beginners, maybe you're gonna have a smaller range of motion so you're not gonna bend your elbows as much and you're gonna keep your knees bent, okay? The more advanced you get, you'll have a bigger range of motion and your legs will go further away. Either way, I want you to make sure that your booty is close to the back of the chair. So this is what modified will look like. When you feel ready, you can start to go deeper, remembering to keep your booty up close to the chair there. I'm gonna take my legs out longer. You can if you want. We're just doing 20 of these. So hang tight with me, do the best you can. Keep it up, strengthening and toning the back of those arms. Good job, keep it going. Almost there. Just a few more. I know it burns. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna do it, we're gonna be doing some push-ups and planks with our hands on the chair. And it's gonna be tricep focused because we're gonna keep our arms in close to our body and our elbows, instead of flaring out, they're gonna stay in close to our sides, kind of scrape our sides as we go. So you're gonna give me a nice plank, hands on the chair there, walk your feet back, keep your body nice and strong. Just give me five of these. Four. Three, two, and one. So I just want to clear off my chair. The ball is getting away. I, could, I, did, I couldn't go as far down as I wanted to. So take a little sip of water here, then we're going to get back into it. You're going to give me three 10 count push ups. We're going to go slow down. So stay really strong. 10, 9, 8, 
seven slow, five, four, three, two, up and one. Let's do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more, I know it's challenging. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up in one. Fabulous work. Okay, don't disengage. We're gonna be doing a little plank variation here. Lift one leg up, and you're gonna extend it back and then draw the knee in. Here we go. 10, nine, round through your back as the knee comes in, really crunch. There you go. About halfway through this side. Alrighty, other side, extend. Round the back, draw the knee in towards the nose. There you go. Keep it up. Almost there. Fabulous. Okay. We are gonna get that chair out of the way. You're gonna bring the mat back in. And we are going to get down the mat for some abs and back. And then after that, it's a stretch. You are so close to being done. I want you to stay strong here for our abs and back network. Go ahead. I want you to lower yourself down nice and slow to laying down on the mat. And you're gonna give me a tabletop position. So your knees are at 90 degrees and they're kind of look like a tabletop, right? Draw your belly button in, make sure your lower back stays in contact with the mat the whole time. All right, you don't want it popping up. I had to take the knot out of my shirt because it was bothering my back. And we're gonna alternate just doing leg drops. So you're not changing the angle of your knees, but from the hips, you're lowering the foot down and it's tapping. There you go. Six, five, four, three, stay really strong, two. We're gonna do both legs at the same time. Really stay strong. You're gonna especially feel it in the lower half of your abs to control it and to make sure you're pressing your lower back into the mat as you lower those toes down. We're not bending at the knees. The movement is coming from the hips. Good job. Two counts down, two counts up. All right, getting ready for our Pilates 100. Lift your head up, tuck your chin, bounce those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You got it. Keep going. Keep that belly button in. If you want to, you can extend the legs out straighter. That's gonna be harder. It's up to you. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Almost there. You're almost done with this. Beautiful, draw the leg in. One hand on the outside of the knee, the inside hand on the inside of the ankle. Give me a little tug, tug, and switch. This is the single leg stretch. I want you to keep as much of your shoulder blades off the mat as you can the whole time. Keep your chin tucked. Just a couple more. Double leg stretch. Hug them in and extend. Hug them in, extend. Hug them in, extend. Beautiful. Keep it up. Keep those shoulder blades off the mat. Keep that chin tucked. I know it's challenging. You can do it. Little iso hold here. Fabulous work. Nice 
three there. Double check, make sure your lower back is staying in the mat. If you're feeling tired and it's having a hard time, stick your hands underneath your hips. Otherwise, you can go right here with me. Take one leg up, drop the other leg down, and return. There you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten, nine, eight, seven. You got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, it's in work. We are gonna do the back now. We'll focus on the back. So you're gonna lay down and you're gonna want your arms and your legs the width of the mat. We're gonna do alternating Superman. So you're going to lift one arm and leg and then the other arm and leg. Make that mind muscle connection, squeeze your back, and I know you're feeling it in the glutes too. The glutes are helping to lift the leg. But really think about the mat, the back. That's what the primary mover is here as you lift your arms. Good job. We're gonna do a few more. Okay, keep the tops of your feet down on the floor. You lift the arms, and you're gonna give me some lat pulls here. Every time your elbows come back, try to pick your chest up off the floor even more to engage more of your back. There you go, really lift. Really lift, sliding your shoulder blades down your spine. I know you feel it in the back of your shoulders and your upper back. Let's go. The more you pick up your chest, the lower in the back you're getting too. And here's our Pilates swimmers. We're gonna do 30 counts of these. Hang in there. You got it, halfway there. Keep it up. Come on, come on. Last set of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it out there, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fabulous work. You made it to the end of the workout. We're gonna stretch. Give me that cat stretch. Round through your back. Really release all the tension that you built up in your back there. And we're gonna sit back in a child's pose. Hips sit back towards your heels. Extend your arms out in front of you. Just breathe. Really lengthen through your back here. Ah, keep breathing. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. Take one arm through and then really let your weight rest on your shoulder there. That's a great sh stretch for the rear shoulder and a great spine twisting stretch too. Keep your hips set back on your heels and just rest on the back of that arm there. I want you to be having a positive self dialogue here. Switch sides. Tell yourself how proud you are of yourself. Let yourself feel happy, feel accomplished, feel proud of yourself for getting through this really challenging workout. And keep breathing. So we're gonna do a quick cobra stretch to stretch through the abs. That got a nice little workout too. If you can't come up this high, that's okay. You don't have to come up this high. And we're actually going to get our quad. So lay down on your side. Keep knee next to knee, kick that heel back, push your hips forward. If it bothers you to grab your foot, you don't have to. You can just bend the lip foot back, bend the knee, I guess I should say, without grabbing it. A little bit more, let's go to the other side. Same thing, just roll over to your other side, knee next to knee, kick that heel back. If you feel ready, you are more than welcome to grab the heel and extend the stretch by pushing the hips forward while keeping your knees close together. 
Okay, now lay down on your back. Nice and easy, one vertebrae at a time. Roll yourself down. And hug that knee in. You can roll your ankle. As you feel your hips, your glutes, your lower back and hamstrings release, tug it in even more. Remember, you don't want to be comfortable in your stretching. You want to feel challenged in your stretching too. We've switched legs in case you didn't notice. Hug the other knee in, rotate through the ankle, tug that knee in even more if you can. Keep breathing. This feels so good, right? You earned this stretch. So we're gonna do a forward fold. Feet come together, sit up tall, arms overhead. Fold forward, reach your hands towards your knees. If you need to have your legs a little bit bent, that's okay. And again, as you feel your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back release, you can sit even deeper into the stretch. Keep breathing. I'm so pleased with our workout today and I'm so glad you joined me. I'm feeling fabulous. I hope you are too. Good job. Thank you so much for joining me today in this awesome bar workout. Leave a comment below. Let me know what challenged you the most and what you liked the most about this workout. Hey, and listen, if you want to take your body, your fitness to the next level, I am currently looking for a couple more online clients to work with. If you are interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching from me for nutrition, and fitness and mindset, the mindset you need to finally reach your goals and the tools you'll need to stay fit for the rest of your life, go ahead and click the link in the bio below, in the description box below, the link to the online application and we can get this going, okay? Either way, I can't wait to see you next week for our workout. Have an awesome time this week. Check in on Instagram, check in on Facebook, all that good stuff. And then we will be right back here on Monday. Until then, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat everybody. Bye.